Are you looking for the best home video projector? I've got one right here that this company sent to me. I wanna unbox it today because I have been looking at home projectors for a while now. Uh, we have a big space, big blank space on the wall and I thought, man, it'd be a really great place to like put a projector and do big screen family movie night type of things. And so I'm curious to see if this one can do the job. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that I like, use, and have. And, well, the company's sending me in the mail. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button and hit the bell too. That way you actually get notified of our videos. So, uh, let's see, let me... I can't remember how to open my knife. <laughs> oh wait, you gotta press the button. There it goes, okay. So let's open this bad boy up right here. Oh yes. So this company reached out to me. They wanted me to check out and see what they got here as far as home projectors go. And I, what I saw on Amazon, which by the way, I'll link it up down in the description below if you guys want to check it out. I'm going to read other people's reviews. Don't just take my word for it. I'm just one guy checking it out for the first time. Definitely go and get a full, uh, full view of what everybody thinks about this uh, projector. But this is an LED projector. It's the XP660 uh, home theater projector for video entertainment. And uh, from what I saw online, this is the, the newly updated, the newer model of it. Uh, the one before that, I believe, was the 440. So uh, we got a little bit of the hookup there. Uh, nice packaging here. I like the handle on the top because if you wanted to, uh, it's not that heavy, but if you wanted to, you could reuse the box as uh, to carry it around in uh, if you needed to take it places to make it more of a portable video projector. Um, let's see. Let's open up our box here and see what is inside. What kind of projectors have you guys been using? What would y'all use it for? Y'all want to watch movies? Do you want to play games? Do you have a presentation or something that you're trying to do? I'd love to know that down in the comments below. And also we can kind of come together as a community of dads to figure out what is the best projector that's out there on the market. Let's see. Okay, so we have the projector there and then we got this box, the black, the mystery black box. <laughs> Let's get into this thing. What is in here? I'm assuming it's cords and stuff. All right, so you have, I'm gonna go ahead and open everything up because y'all know how we check lengths of things here on the dad reviews. Y'all gotta know how long these cords are to make sure it can uh, reach to where you need it to reach. So I'm six feet tall and I'm a square whenever I have my arms stretched out. So this is about, uh, that's a good, I'd say five foot HDMI cord right there. Very nice, I like that. They got the little protector things on there, little HDMI action right there, so that's good. Let's see, let's check out the power cord now too. So this thing is a 1080 uh, projector here. And we have another, yeah, that's another five foot, I'd say, cord right there for the power cord as well. It takes one of these kind of power cords, just to let you know, the same kind that goes like into a computer or whatever. Okay, so this is interesting. Oh, there's a remote. How cool is that? Nice. Let's see, let's get into this thing, see what all we have here. Check the durability of it. Okay, plastic remote. Uh, where did the batteries go in? That's what I'm kind of confused by. The buttons are like a clicky button. Y'all hear that? I like that. I really like that a lot. It kind of lets you know, like it's a reinforcement that, yes, I clicked it. Yes. <laughs> um, all in all, it looks pretty solid. I don't see where the batteries go in though, unless it's, I need to kind of, oh look, does this back, ah, the back part pries up it looks like. Two AA batteries. Don't see any in the box, so you gotta supply your own AA batteries right there. That's okay though. Uh, did I say AA? I meant AAA. I'm an idiot, AAA, and yeah, only two. Cool. All right, so that's the remote. It also comes with this little three-way plug as well. Uh, the red, white, red, white, and yellow. And then this is on the other end. So I guess if you wanted to connect it to your phone, if your phone still has the, he the headphone jack or a tablet or something like that, you may have to buy the adapter. I'll link that up down in the description below if you guys wanted to make it to where you can use your projector with your phone and do like a mirroring type of thing if you're in like a business presentation or if you just wanna play games from those types of things. This is the, the cord you'd need, but if you're on a newer type of device, you're gonna need the adapters for these. Now I'll link up both Android and iPhone adapters down in the description below if you guys uh, do wanna check that out. Let's see, what do we have here? Some uh, contact us info. We got 20% uh, off something right there. Um, I don't know what the deal is with that though. They don't give you a code or anything. What's this? 
Oh, some premium tissue paper. They give you, so if you need to clean your lens, that's awesome. You don't see that uh, in most of these things. So this is a nice little add-on. I like that there. It says the uh, instruction manual right there. Let's see, it's all in English. And then they have a warranty card right here as well. So you can uh, put in a warranty if you need it. Um, whoa, want lifetime warranty? Search on Facebook and provide your Amazon order ID and contact them and you can get a lifetime warranty. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Look, if y'all wanna read that, y'all can get a little bit more information about their warranty stuff right there. And then look, this is the other side a little bit more. Y'all pause the video and y'all can read that if y'all need a little more information. All right, let's get into the projectors here. Let's see what kind of inputs we have. Let's see what it looks like, how big it is. So it comes in these two styrofoam blocks here. So we're just gonna remove those right there. I like that because it's nice and protected. Any kind of electronics you definitely wanna have protected. And then it also comes in the little baggie here. All right. So it's a white colored one. Oh, what? Okay, we got, uh, I don't know what they're used for, but we have some uh, USB ports on there. It could be for like a Roku stick or Amazon Fire Stick or something like that. I'm curious if I could put a movie on a stick, like a regular jump drive, and plug that into there, will it be able to read it? You got your on off switch right there, just a little toggle, that's where you plug in. And then it looks like you have two HDMI ports on there, HDMI one and two. Just looking, oh look, you have a PC port right here. So if you want to connect your computer and it uses this old style VGA port, you can do that. And then it also has an audio out and an AV. AV is, I believe, this right here. So you can go boom, like that. Um, there, the IR sensor on it looks like it's in the back here. Although there is, oh no wait, that is that a port? No, that's not a port, huh? Maybe they just have one in the front because this is also one in the front, I believe, unless that's a power light. That might be a power light. Um, I don't know, I'd have to look into that, but it looks like this looks like your infrared for your remote is gonna be right here. I would think that they would have something on the front here, but I could be wrong. Got a nice big lens here, look at that thing. This thing, can, from what I read, can do a 200 inch display, which is huge. If y'all want to read some of the tech specs are written around the ring there, I'll just y'all can pause the video and check that out. Um, but like I said, this is an LED projector. Uh, it comes with the lens cap too, so that you can protect your lens there. Um, on the top here, this is made by Cronova. Like I said, I'll link it up down in the description below if you guys want to check it out. It's a LED lamp, so it should last. Shouldn't have to change a bulb in here, which is odd. I never thought about that with projectors, because usually projectors, uh, the bulb is probably one of the most expensive uh, things that you have to continually purchase again, how, depending on how much you use your projector. And now that they have LEDs in there, the LEDs will last hopefully a lifetime. So that's super cool. I didn't even think about that. Uh, you got some buttons on the front here. I S, M, OK, up and down, and then left and right, a power button, and then a back button. I'm not too sure what the S and the M stand for, so I might have to dig into that. I'm gonna come back and do a full-on review of this thing so that you guys can get a better idea of how this thing actually performs as a home uh, theater projector. I think it's gonna be pretty good. I like the size of it. It is a little thick right here, but that's okay because it's good to have those fans to be able to ventilate out. Um, oh, another good thing about LEDs too that I just thought of is that they don't produce any heat. So you won't have, um, it, the projector won't get as hot as a normal projector. Another selling point there. Oh, it also has, a, I just noticed this, a little stand right here. So if you need to, uh, if you need to elevate it, you can do that as well. Let's go ahead and take, see how far this thing comes out. They got the lens cap attached to it. Man, it comes out pretty far. You got a good, what was that, a good inch maybe? Maybe inch and a half right there of, uh, of lifting ability, so that's awesome. I like that. And then it also has on the bottom here, if you do plan on setting it on a table, all these little rubberized feet. So we'll see how those hold up after I use it, although I might try and mount this somewhere in my house, I'm not sure, but they have the rubber feet all the way around. 
Super cool, very excited about this. Make sure to click that subscribe button if you guys wanna see the follow-up review that I'm gonna do of this home theater projector. And if you guys are liking what we're doing here on Dad Reviews, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna put some more videos right there on the screen. Uh, try and find some more like TV, AV type of stuff. You guys can click one of those videos. I'll see y'all in those videos. Thank you dads for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated. Let me know down in the comments below what you wanna use your projector for. And also make sure to check out the link in the description so you guys can go and read other people's reviews about this projector and we can kinda of come together as a community of dads to figure out what is the best, uh, the best uh, projector here. Thank y'all for watching and dad out.